Welcome to our channel. We are Ben. TMB. And Molly. We are Sailboat Story. Now before we start the video, I want to remind everybody that our product giveaway is occurring very soon. We're giving away a, a portable solar generator, a 4000 watt inverter charger charge controller, that's a 3 in 1 unit, uh, also a propane detector pen, and some handmade jars of pink sand from the island of Eleuthera in the Bahamas that the ladies made. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. So if you're interested in any of those items, check out the links in the description and go ahead and get signed up for the giveaway. Yep. Yep. Anything yep. else? No. All right. Yeah. Enjoy the video. Yes. <laughs> okay. Here goes. All right. So before we install this engine stop cable, there's a couple things I need to explain so all this will make sense. So this is the control end of the engine stop cable. You've probably seen one of these before. You know, they're pretty common on, you know, tractors and, you know, lots of boats have them as well. But as you can see, there's this shaft back here. That That's actually a little problem that we're having to work around. Our little control panel is right up here on this side of this wall. But there's not that much clearance between this wall and this, uh, you know, circuit board and everything back here, the AC circuit board. I cannot mount this horizontally like that or it's going to interfere with that AC panel. So what I'm going to have to do is actually cant it like this, 45 degrees, to make it fit that space up there. So that's one little, you know, design workaround that we're having to do here. So keep that in mind. All right, so now here we are. Here's the engine control panel. We're gonna be mounting that kill cable probably right in here. But again, it's not gonna go straight in perpendicular to this surface here. It's actually gonna be turned 45 degrees so that it has plenty of room to clear that AC panel. And the way we're gonna do that is I made this little fiberglass boss that's cut at a 45 degree angle. So we need to drill a hole here and then mount this little guy right there somewhere. But the tricky part now is I have to drill the hole at this 45 degree angle. So to do that, I cut this hunk of two by four here, and I'm actually just gonna get this in position wherever it's gonna go. And then I can drill, uh, you know, perpendicular to the top of this two by four rather than trying to, you know, fight with drilling it at a, at a weird angle. So. Anyways, this is the plan. Uh, we will see how well this goes off. Um, but I'm going to use just a regular uh, hole saw blade, you know, going into this angled portion of this 2x4 to try to get the hole drilled uh, and then get this guy epoxied up. And yeah, that's kind of the loose plan we're working with here. Hopefully it works. Is it going to work, Tamby? Yes. What's your confidence level? 80%. Oh, why is it always 80%? I'm just kidding. I think it's going to work great. Yeah, all right. Hands usually work out great. Well, they used, they, okay, the caveat, Tambi, is even though the plans do work out, they seldom go as planned. You know what I mean? I mean, the shelves went in perfect. Yeah, the, sh yeah, the shelves went in perfect. Maybe so, maybe this will go perfect maybe too. Will go perfect maybe, too. We're, maybe we're getting better at this stuff. <laughs> drilled on an angle and then next step is going to be to epoxy that in place looks like our little angle 2x4 block did the trick
So the epoxy is drying on that little fiberglass piece out there and I wanted to answer a question before it is asked because I know a lot of people are going to say why don't you just hook up an electronic solenoid to uh, stop the engine and we certainly could um, I feel like the the mechanical stop cable is probably more reliable there's just nothing electronically to fail and also the stop cable is far less expensive than the solenoids um, those solenoids uh, the genuine Yanmar solenoids are like four or five hundred dollars for like a, a little twenty dollar part I mean you know how this stuff goes so uh, you know installing that stop cable is just a way we're gonna save like a good chunk of money uh, yeah so that's why Are you ready? Ready. Now listen, this is an important step in this process. This isn't something you just want to rush into. This is going to take some skill, some finesse. Alright, so the cable is coming from up there. So what we're going to do is kind of give it a little bit of a gentle curve, run it along the ceiling, down this wall, start curling over this way to connect it to a little bracket that I have mounted right under here and ultimately the cable needs to connect to this little arm right here. This is what kills the engine when it is pulled. All right the cable itself is installed in the little uh, in the little fiberglass piece up here. We didn't film putting the the nut on the back side of it because it was absolutely impossible to film. But anyways, that looks pretty good, huh? Not too bad. And check out this this uh, high tolerance clearance fit here. Boop! Look at that. It's got like, I don't know, maybe an eighth of an inch between the door and the, uh, and the cable. Not bad at all. For a couple of amateurs, huh? Alright. Alright, let's see if we can get the cable working now. Alright, let me show you a couple components here because you're probably not going to be able to see them very well uh, once we start installing this stuff. So we're going to put the cable through there and then adjust these two nuts to pinch the cable wherever we want it. This goofy thing here that looks like a piece of a uh, hanger, which is probably a piece of a hanger, is this is what we're actually going to use to attach the cable. So this little piece right here is going to just sit right in the inside of this loop. And then inside this hook here is what is going to catch that, uh, that little lever that moves back and forth. This is not <laughs> going to be our long-term solution, but this is the best I could come up with for now. You want to test it out? Yeah. Alright, see what it feels like. Nice.
Yeah, it only moves about uh, an inch or so. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Here's the cable routing. So it comes out of the hole up there, it goes around the corner in a nice, nice gentle bend. It goes along the ceiling. I just kind of put some nuts on the bottom of those bolts to have something to zip tie to. Then it goes down the wall. A couple of little zip tie anchors holding it into place. And then a nice gentle curve and a straight run over to the uh, fairly janky little mechanism that we have there. But I think it is going to serve its purpose until we can come up with something else. So that is pretty much this job done. And Tenby! Hello. <laughs> Magic. Magic is what that was. <laughs> Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. Now we have a couple new patrons, actually three new patrons that have come on board and we want to thank them. And they are... Brad. Alan. And Tim. Thank you so much, guys. Mm -hmm. We really appreciate that. That's a huge help. Mm -hmm. Now, one more thing before we let you go here is we want to remind you that our upcoming product giveaway is occurring very soon. So if you have not already, go ahead and use the links below this video to enroll in the giveaway and, uh, you know, choose any products that you might be interested in because that's happening really soon. We've got some cool stuff we're giving away. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's, that's going to be a pretty fun video. So yeah, check that out if you have not already. Yeah. Yep. Alright, anything else you want to say, ladies? Don't think so. No? Okay, well, sign us off then. See you next time. Bye. Bye. See ya.